Let's -a go. Hey, what is going on, people? It's finally that time we have been waiting for for over uh, a good while now, ever since they announced the anime. I think it was like around uh, mid-summer time that they announced it or, or whatever. But anyways, it is time for my review and my first impressions overall, too. On, God damn it, fucking camera. On One Punch Man! One Punch Man. Now, this is the first episode that came out. Now, originally, though, this episode was leaked, the pilot episode, before it came out, uh, before it came out, like, uh, yesterday. But, unfortunately, um, uh, well, it did, but the subtitles weren't really too, too accurate, because then, in the middle of it, the subtitles were cut off, and you would have no idea what they're saying until, like, the last portion of the episode, and it was like, eh. So I'd rather just wait until, like, the actual version came out, and it did. First of all, the opening sequence is fucking phenomenal. I love the opening song. It's just like, oh my god, it is so amazing. Oh. Of course, when it comes to Studio Madhouse, they do such incredible animation work. I mean, let's just get the elephant out of the room here. Hunter x Hunter 2011. Again, I'm not the biggest. I know a lot of people are going to skewer me. They're going to cut me. They're going to shoot me. But I'm not the biggest fan of Hunter x Hunter, the series. But I I'm going to try to get into it. But I, know I tried to get into it. But... I don't know. I know. I know it's from the same creators, you Haka Show, but it was just it was hard because I just didn't really understand it too much. Maybe because I watched the older anime, but I'm gonna try. Maybe when they announce like an English dub or something like that, and, or maybe catch up. But right now, I don't really have time to marathon stuff like that. Like at least nowadays, anyway. And then plus, I better watch an English dub because you know when it comes to that, especially now since it's you know over and not going anymore. It's not ongoing anymore for an anime. I better just watch it. You know. um... You know, so I'll just rather watch a dub and say, I don't know, hopefully, if there is a dub. Which, and I feel bad for the fans, though. But I do feel bad that there's no dub announced for it yet, and there should have been, at least by now. But who knows what will happen. I mean, Viz, or Funimation, whoever, better get on that. I don't know. Anyways, um, but enough about that, though. But, of course, other works as well. Like, they've done many other great works in the past. I think they did Gone Grave as well. I believe they might have, or was that Bones? No. No, 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 I think Madhouse did do fucking, um, Gungrave as well, but I don't remember. But they've done such fantastic work, though, but I have seen some of their animes. Just put it down in the comment section below on which certain animes they did. I know I've seen some animes of Madhouse, it's just, it, it's been, like, a long time, so I know they've done such incredible work. They're a really great animation team, and the, the sequence alone was just mad hype as it is. Santama for the win. I love this guy's motivation. He's just a superhero for fun, man. He, that's all it is. Like He got strong on his own. He just did basic sit-ups, push-ups, crutches, whatever basic exercise he can. And he became a fucking beast. That's, that's the funny part about it. And, he, and the dude, he has a cape and he's fucking bald. And he has the, and, and he ends his enemy all in just one punch. And, and it's fucking done. People explode and shit. And there are punches that will go like beyond hours of fucking fucking debris and it, it's fucking crazy but it's so insane but it's so funny especially the character like the character and motive and his fucking face like the facial expressions he does are like hilarious but then like when there's some epic shit going on like he gets mad serious and it's awesome uh so basically they'll, it, it's a world pretty much where they need like more better superheroes out there but here's the story about Sintama Sintama is a hero and he wanted to be a hero ever since he was a kid growing up he knew it was a stupid dream but he wanted to live it because somewhere in this world somebody needs a hero because there's like criminals and monsters and stuff that you know rain Japan every fucking day so they need someone you know you know he wants to protect those people that he loves so dear in his actual and, and, and his in his country. So what he wanted to do, like he became so overpowered that he got bored. Like literally, he got bored because all his enemies just die in like one punch, and he just ends off every single fight. So he doesn't got like that because they're not that strong enough because he's already OP enough as it is. However, though, 
What he really wants in life is more of a challenge. Like, he's lost the thrill to become a hero. But once he was starting to become a hero, he was, like, you know, he was drilling. He was excited. He's a fucking hero just protecting people and shit. And just, like, feeling, like, the rush, you know, the adrenaline. Nowadays, it's like he just doesn't really get that same vibe anymore. And it's like he wants a challenge. He wants something different. And I believe that's what's going to be later in the series. Now, the bad news is there's only going to be 12 episodes for this. And I know a lot of people were pissed off because they wanted, like, a 24-episode. I know King of Lightning was, like, really, really salty about that. Um, yeah. So, hopefully, though, that... You know, I, and I guess they can't really do 24 episodes, you know. It makes sense. Um, because the reason why is because I heard the manga doesn't have, like, too, too many too many chapters. So that's why it's only going to be 12 episodes long. At least for now, until there's another season. Which, god damn it, there better be. Because this shit is starting to look pretty awesome so far. And it's a shame how short it's going to be. But whatever, though. Regardless, Santama is a beast of a character. But we just see him, like, in the beginning, we see this, like purple Namekian looking guy, his name is Vaseline Man, I think it is, or, Va I was gonna say Vaseline Man, but no, or a Vaseline Man, I believe it's called, I forget, but, you know, he's pretty much created by people's, earth like, pollution, like, it's all the, the filth and the garbage that made him into this, like, disgusting creature, and, you know, that we see, like, this purple fucking Namekian, he's crazy, just blowing up shit, and it's, like, insane, it's, like, Saitama's pissed, like, damn it, I ended my fight in one punch again, it's, like, and he, I love the way he gets fucking mad, because it's, like, it's so funny, like, how salty Saitama gets, because he ends his fights in, like, two seconds, and it's, like, oh my god, but, mainly, though, so that's pretty much the whole thing here, because it started where, some lobster monster with fucking underwears comes along, and he's trying to find some kid with some balls on his chin. Don't ask me. It's it's fucking weird as shit. But apparently he wants to get revenge, and get this, is because he drew nipples on him while he was sleeping and with permanent marker, and because he's a lobster, he has claws, he can't get them off because it's permanent marker. So... What happens is, um, he pretty much just wants to kill the kid for what he's done for revenge, but, uh, Santama was originally an unemployed office guy, or an unemployed businessman, because he used to be, like, a businessman, I believe, but I, I don't really know the whole story, all we know that he was just unemployed, I guess he got laid off or something, so... What happens is, is that he sees the lobster with underwears, and he, you know, he's like, you know what, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a hero. He's like, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to live my dreams. He did the shallow buff. He didn't let his dreams be dreams. He just did it, and that's just what he did. He's like, fuck it, I'm going to go in. I'm going to fucking kick your ass. It's like, you know, even though he was kind of getting thrown around a lot, he was like, you know, just fucking punching the shit out of him. He's just throwing him. He, he took out his fucking eye all of it, all of his guts, and it's, like, all over the place, and he just dies, and I'm like, yo, that's fucking crazy, oh my god, even back in the day, and he used to have hair, too, which is the funny part, after that, he became bald after, like, two years later, oh, man, and then we see that there is a city being attacked by a brother and a scientist, and that scientist always loves his brother so much, like, he was always an athlete, but he wanted to show the world how strong he was of his scientific genius. So he made this drug that can kind of make him into this, like, muscular, like, big fucking dude. Like, big-ass fucking dude. Like, I'm talking about, um, colossal titan fucking size dude. And it's insane. Like, the footprint is just a giant-ass fucking foot. Uh, like some Toriko shit. And it's, like, it's covering the entire landmass. With a fucking footprint. I'm like, oh my god. And then we see Santama, and I just love, he's just like, and there's this one scene I like where he just looks all fucking high and shit. He's like, uh, and he's like, this fucking, he's like, he's right there while his brother's giving commands. And he fucking squashes and kills his own brother while Santama escapes. And then he's like, he just, like, he doesn't give a fuck. It's like, you know what? Because, like, he, you know, he's just like Santama too, they kind of relate. He wants to be. A challenge. Everybody is not challenging to him. He's more stronger than everybody else. And he's kind of tired of it all. And Sintama's like the same way. Even though it didn't really matter. Because he doesn't even know his own strength sometimes. Because he just threw the guy to another fucking city. He's like, whoops, I think I killed him. <laughs> and then it just says, like, building B or A. And then at the very end, we see some, like... Even though it was, like, a dream. But we see that some, um... Ten um... Um... Tenderanium, like, guys, like, come down there. 
and they're pretty much just like they're like from another planet and then they're pretty much just like trying to trying to challenge Sentama. And these guys weren't going down so easily. And he's like, oh shit, I got that spark back, that fucking fire that I've been waiting for for years. And then like they finally gave him a worthy challenge. Like, this guy just wasn't no like one shot kill. No, this guy was actually giving him like a run for his money. And then like they were just fucking whooping some ass. And the fight, the sequence, and the animation was smooth as fucking butter. It was just like amazing. It was on some bleach shit, and, and I just loved it. Just like seeing him in his pajamas, in his fucking pajamas, just whooping some ass and taking names, dog. It's not even funny. And then, you know, all of a sudden, it's like after that, the fucking big boss comes out, and reality slaps him in the face, and I had to fucking dream it. <laughs> like at the end, I'm like laughing, I'm like, fucking really, dude? Oh my god. And it's like, yep, I, I know the feeling, like reality, once you're back, man. <sighs> it's like you just want to go back to like fantasy world, man. And and I have the feeling when I go to sleep, I'm like that. So, anyways, like we see that the uh, send uh, the pen uh, tenderanium um, people, they were actually real. They actually came, but they weren't the ones from Saint Tom, um, Saint Thomas Dream. Nah, of of Gen Thomas uh, Saint Thomas Dream. No, this guy. These guys sucked. Like, honestly, they were just whacked as shit. And then all of a sudden, they just, like, they didn't even try to battle, um, Sintama. They fucking just surrendered with a white flag, and they bailed, and they fucking left. And that was it. So that's pretty much the episode. Then at the end, we just see this guy, like, he's surrounded by a whole bunch of dead cows and shit. And pretty much at the end, we see this guy... I don't know who the hell he is. I guess he's supposed to be another part of the, of the story. I know there's him with this, like, fucking metal giant arm and shit. Or, like, this, like, I don't know, some kind of arm thing he has. And then we see this other, uh, this chick. There's this girl on there, too, I forget. So that's probably going to be, like, a no all these heroes that are going to, like, find Sentama, team up with him, or challenge him or something. So I think that's going to be all the characters we're going to meet later on. Again, I'm not too familiar with the series. I'm only seeing glimpses of the manga here and there. But, yeah, that's pretty much the episode. Overall, it, 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 the hype for this was totally worth it. Like, I so cannot wait for the next episode. Like, I want to see who this dude is. Like, honestly, like, I want to see who this, like, uh, who this dude is. Like, I don't know who he is, but it looks pretty beast, though. So, overall, I'm going to give it a perfect 5 out of 5. It was fantastic animation, music, um, the character, the main character himself. Uh, he, he is He is incredible. He's on there with so many greats. And I like how they're mimicking the whole superhero thing. Like, you know, like, I, I guess that's kind of like how superheroes feel nowadays. Like, kind of like Superman. Oh, kind of. Well, it, it's true, though, because Superman is like a god living on the planet Earth, if you think about it. Don't you think he might even get bored himself by just challenging people and that are weaker than him? I'm just saying. But, you know, it, it's a good thought there. But overall, that's pretty much it. I'm excited for episode two uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you have watched this awesomeness of one punch man are you guys excited for episode two i certainly am because this is one fall anime i'm definitely this is just the only fall anime to be perfectly sadly honest unless you guys can give me some more recommendations but i uh, this is the only thing i was kind of hyped for sadly for like the fall and plus you know, I don't always have the time to catch up with all these series as you guys, so this is like the most hyped up thing. I'm actually going to watch it and stick with it. So, unless, again, you guys can tell me, like, another series that you recommend for fall, but other than that, uh, that's the only thing I'm pretty much hyped up, you know, for now at the moment. So, yeah. Definitely. So, see you guys next time for episode 2. This is the Ninja Reviewer signing out. Peace out. Anime manga fans, keep supporting what you read, what you watch. And, yeah, that's it. See you guys next week. Peace.